what's up guys this is our 34 week update so i did post that last video of my 33 week update i didn't really do much of an update i thought it was more of a little update on what was going on i did kind of miss a few things to update you guys the baby is the size of a cantaloupe at 34 weeks and i have gotten so many more stretch marks on my belly but I do have them all like on the lower part of my stomach and I do believe that is because the baby has a drop. I can totally tell the baby has dropped because I have a big old gap on the top and then like all the bottom is like super fat and super round just at the bottom and I got a lot of stretch marks now because of that I'm pretty sure. So they're just all like at the bottom in the center under my belly button and... I still haven't been able to sleep much. I am still super tired. I do think I have like insomnia or something because I can't sleep at all. I'm super tired. So I am tired all the time. I have been trying to take a few naps during the day because it is crazy how my mood changes when I am so tired. I get mad and frustrated at everything. So I'm trying to sleep so I can be a little bit calm and relaxed. Either way, with all the hormones and everything changing, it's hard. So I am trying. I did go to my 34-week appointment and the doctor said that the baby is a still head down. So that is good in case he wants to come early. He is ready to go. She did say he can move around up to 37 weeks. He can move around, um, switch back up, and then go back down. Just depends how the baby is feeling and what he wants to do. <laughs> he is still head down for now. A few new things, actually. So I did recently start getting sore breasts, and they started hurting. With my daughters, they hurt all the time. They would hurt since I got pregnant all the way to the end. They would be sore. But I don't know if it has to do with that I've already had milk before or what. That it started so late or that I'm barely getting milk and barely creating it. I don't I do have that now though. So they're not horribly sore like I remember. But it just started. So they are a little sore when I touch them and during the night. We're making that colostrum, I guess, as time gets closer to deliver the baby. The other thing that's like a major new thing. So I do think I am I'm losing my mucus plug because every time I go to the restroom, there has been like a lot of discharge coming out lately. Um, So I do believe that my mucus plug is coming out. So I don't really know how that works, but they did tell me about that. In my past pregnancies so I do know you know I wasn't like super scared um seeing a lot of that come out I think they say when you're like starting to thin out or a phase or whatever they call it you get like more of that mucusy stuff coming out so I do think I have a uh, lost my mucus plug um or I'm losing it or it's coming out or <laughs> I don't know exactly how to explain it but um that is happening it is like the beginning usually it comes out a lot right after i use the restroom when i go pee but during the day i have noticed that i am back to when i was first pregnant when it was like a so much discharge coming out so it's kind of like that and i have to change my underwear like two three times a day because it's a lot i'm pretty sure that is the reason why so that is happening and I am still getting all these Braxton Hicks contractions as they call them but to me um these are not Braxton Hicks these are like dead-on contractions coming on because they are so painful and the only reason I could say that they're actual contractions it's because I did go natural with my daughter so kind of know what all those contractions are and these uh, Braxton Hicks feel like actual contractions I have. It's like not the horrible ones but when you first go into labor and they're like those first contractions so they're still painful. <laughs> Usually it's just in the night um, especially when I'm getting out of bed to go pee in the middle of the night. Those come out. I do have to go pee more often now. So it used to be like two times. Well, now it's like three or four times. So I go to the restroom a lot now. Yeah, 
I think those are all the new symptoms I've been having. They have not gotten back to me when I had the infection. They haven't called me yet to let me know if it was actually a bladder infection or not. So I don't know if they're going to wait till I go to my next appointment and tell me what happened or if they're going to call me. I don't know yet. But I will definitely keep you guys updated on what is going on with that and what they think and what they tell me. That is it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't. And leave me any comment down below. And bye!